Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who ever had the need to have a powerful but still portable soldering device. And now finally we have exactly what I always wanted. That's the FNI RSI model type HS02B. I got this device from the seller for free, but it's still my honest opinion because I would never claim something which is not true. Yeah, again, very powerful device. Yeah, it's still some kind of a corded solution, but not 110 volts, but USB. So we can even operate it with a powerful power bank. And so we can definitely still call it portable. So why isn't the battery? built in here right away. There are a couple of such solutions, but everything what I found, at least as of summer 2025, has only super, super low power below 20 watts, most even far below 20 watts. And here we have a solid 100 watts with super short two seconds heat up time. And the battery would also make the device much heavier. So I think we have actually here the absolute perfect solution. They have implemented that exactly in the way how I would have done it myself if I had been able to do that. And so in the set we get the core device, we get the powerful 100 watts USB C to C cable, we get also these 100 watts power brick, even a really nice one, which would be perfect for travel with this flip plug here. Also beautiful. And we get this USB-C to DC adapter cable. And in the box we have actually another box, even a very solid one. And so here's what we get. You can see absolutely awesome, super well organized storage box with everything. So I can take it out. Here we have even an opening for the soldering wire. Absolutely amazing. We can even slightly close this, bend it down, secure it. And of course you can replace the wire. You can easily take it out. We have this magnetic cover here. So you can easily put it back, cover it with the magnetic cover. And here we have the solid full metal stand with some nice heat sink, slack cleaner and the replacement tips. And so that's how easy we can use it. We can just twist it to open. We can easily pull out the whole tip here. Here are the other two tips. And so we can replace it with one of them or just put this one here back. Just push it inside no tool needed and then we need a high wattage power source for example the original one which is included but it should also work with a lower power source because you can adjust the power here i'm going to show you that in the setting i've already tried it with the original power supply from fni or si it works really good so let's see if we can also use it with a high power power bank and so let's plug it in here by the way make sure that you have it fully secured here and so it goes automatically into standby. And to start the heating process, we just hit OK here. And then it goes into the first preset. You can see how fast it has been heating up to 842 degrees Fahrenheit. Absolutely amazing. Down here you can see the progress bar, but progress bar is pretty much not needed because it has almost instant heat up. On top you have the set temperature. Down below we have the three presets. Here we can see the voltage. So you can see it's also using 20 voltage from this power bank here, but we can also reduce it down to nine volts. So we can use any powerful USB power source with at least nine volts, but you can also use 12, 15 or 20 volts. We still okay, we can switch between the different temperatures. Now I'm pushing here and you can see, of course, the cool down is a little bit slower because it's just normal cooled by the air. Takes a while unless you have a fan or you're blowing against it. But because of the very fine tip, it's still cooling down pretty fast. And it's always fun to watch how the temperature is decreasing. And now it's already down to 212, which is the lowest preset temperature. Now I'm pushing again. Watch this progress bar here. And it's super, super fast. Already at 572 which is the medium preset I have set and I'm pressing OK, then goes to 842, 
Watch the progress bar here and the temperature. Yes, yeah, super, super fast. So you can easily switch between the presets, but we can also adjust it here. Hope you can see that. So we can just push here short and then it will reduce temperature or increase temperature by the steps which we have applied in the settings. But you can also low press and then move pretty fast. To put it in standby, we long press here on the OK. Then, for example, put it here also a little bit with an angle. Exactly same thing as with the cap, something like that. And then we can give a twist. Then it's fully secured. And so let's try to connect these resistors here. Already fully heated up. And now putting some soldering wire here. Has already worked nicely, as you can see. Yeah, just in two or three seconds, absolutely amazing. You have to be careful, super, super hot. Put it in standby with a long press. Can already retract the soldering wire here. By the way, also something I really like here. You can see when I just accidentally put it down here on a desk, it's not rolling away. It's some kind of round, but not perfectly round. So it's not rolling away and then falling down on the floor. And so with a long press, I put it into standby. And then I have two options to get into the menu. Either pressing both of these buttons left and right at the same time, which is a bit difficult or at least difficult to show because they are really close here. But an easier thing is when we long press here again, goes into the menu. I hope you can see that. So we have the different menu settings like sleep settings, handle settings, when we want to use the menu, we press OK. Here we can change the presets, press OK. We can adjust temperature for the setting 1, press OK. Adjust setting 2, press OK. Change setting 3, long press to go back to previous menu. Then here we can adjust the desired voltage. So if a device cannot deliver 20 volts, usually the device would just work with the voltage provided. But if it doesn't work, we can also reduce it here. You can see 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts. Then we can adjust the power consumption. Here I have it on 95%. Default was 65%. You can even reduce it more. For example, if you have a big power source, could be very helpful. Then next setting is the steps. Here we have the steps on 9 degrees Fahrenheit. You can reduce it to 1 or increase it to 90 degrees Fahrenheit steps. Then we can also do some temperature calibration. That's it. Long press to go back. Here we have the system settings, different languages. We can set it to left or right hand mode. Set the unit to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Turn on and off the beeping. Set the brightness. Do a firmware upgrade. About. Factory reset. And with a long press we go back. Another long press back to the standby. So that's super, super easy. Easy to use for the soldering, easy to use here in the menus. Now, this is absolutely amazing. I definitely haven't seen any soldering tool with such a huge amount of setting possibility. And it's super flexible, super lightweight. We can even use it with a powerful power bank. So you don't have to bring large tools into the garage. You can bring this soldering tool to wherever you need it. Absolutely amazing. So I would say full recommendation from my side. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the links to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this absolutely awesome high-tech soldering tool, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.